All right. So confidence versus attraction. Two much debated topics, two most debated topics in the world of men's self improvement. Now, the Red Pill Society promotes and prefers the supremacy of confidence over anything else. The Blue Pill side of self improvement, however, thoroughly believes that attraction in any and every way, shape, or form can and always will have an undue advantage over everything else. So, what's right? What's wrong? Rather, do we need a right and a wrong? Gentlemen, is it so that confidence is much superior to attraction or does the script work otherwise? Well, I honestly believe I am a hybrid of both. I love a few core principles of the Red Pill Society, but I equally hate more than half of it. Similarly, I also love and adore some of the core concepts of the Blue Pill Society like attraction and seduction, but I also hate more than half of it. So I think if I had to pick one and choose one and advise you on something, then this Men's Essentials episode is going to be the perfect one for it. So my name is Mangra Sarah Jalaman. This is Men's Essentials. Let's go. Okay, so first thing first, before I share my honest and somewhat of a balanced thought on this red pill, blue pill or attraction and confidence take, you'll have to do me two quick favors. One, if you are new to the channel, click that subscribe button and watch all the other 700 plus videos on this channel. And two, if you have already been watching the videos on this channel, then don't forget to click that like button and help the YouTube algorithm help me in the process of making more content for you. That being clear, that being said, let's get into attraction versus confidence. Alright, so this episode is very much in line with another episode I made on the topic of husbands versus playboys. It's also a social dynamic topic that I have covered almost 2-3 months ago. I think you'll learn a lot more about this topic in detail if you watch that video. It's a little longer than this one, but the idea of the red pill conference and the blue pill seduction has been addressed in that video quite effectively as well. In case you haven't watched it, click the card, watch that video, come back and watch this one. But hey, speaking of attraction and confidence, well, this is going to get a little tricky. Because see, I honestly believe I am a good mix. If not the perfect mix, at least a good mix. Yes, a good mix or a decent cocktail of the red and the blue pill. I mean, I'm 29, I'm single, I'm in my process, I love what I'm doing and I'm quite happy doing it. This is what MGTOW or men going their own way and red pills concepts are halfly based on. Yes, men having purpose, men going after what they want and men being happy, being single. And I don't say anything wrong with it. But I also do realize that post COVID, especially this whole post pandemic era, my personal and my dating life have been heavily neglected. So as per the blue pill philosophies, I have started acting on it. I'm starting to work on it. I'm going out more often. I'm approaching more people. I'm setting up more dates. I'm texting more girls and I'm doing everything I can to get my social and personal life back in order. So yes, I do hook up. I do love promoting hookups. I do love promoting the idea of love, sex and seduction. And I do love few of the core concepts of a man being socially calibrated and aware in any personal or social situation. So yes, all in all, a part of me is quite red pill. A part of me is equally blue pill as well. Because see, just as much as I enjoy my process, just as much as I am excited about the future things that I'm about to make with Team Basics, this channel or Evolve, gentlemen, I don't really accept or agree to the fact that a man or the male is a superior species. I mean, I do however believe that we are two different species and we both have our two different ways to deal with things, but none of them is superior to anyone else. But but, but, having said that, when it comes down to attraction and confidence, yes, in today's modern speculative age, attraction is always going to triumph everything else. Because gentlemen, in this current day and age, attraction matters way more than you could possibly ever age. Yes, your style, your image, your grooming, your social dynamics, everything on a scale is so much more important for your today's self-worth, for your today's man's worth, than everything else combined with your confidence or masculinity. I mean, be it from a job interview to your first dates. If you aren't looking presentable, if you aren't feeling confident, if you aren't looking attractive and smelling fresh, if you don't have the social skills, if you can't seduce, if you can't flirt, if you can't negotiate, and if you can't do a lot of these basic things that the modern age needs, you can't really get 
the job or the girl done i mean if you are an unaware uncalibrated in your process focused only in your work kind of a man then you will be a social outcast yes like it or not believe it or not you will be a in outcast and nobody no man or woman in their right mind would ever want to be around such an outcast so until or unless you are extremely spiritually enlightened and aware which is like the 0.01% of today's population even in this country maybe 1% of the total population is actually that spiritually aware and enlightened forget the fact of you living your life alone forget the fact that you'll actually not need a partner or someone to spend your life with german if you're watching this video in english from one of the metropolitan cities of the country you are absolutely not aware neither enlightened to live your life by yourself accept it and get it straight in your head now can it be done yes but it takes immense practice and a whole different form of lifestyle which needs to be embedded in you since you were a young child if you are someone of my age who is wanting to live all by himself and be a bachelor or sanyasi in this modern world then you my friend you'll have to move out to varanasi or kashi for that to happen which is highly unlikely so yes being attractive looking attractive and the whole thesis of attraction in this case in this modern age is very bloody important i mean it has always been but it's way more important now than ever so if somebody questions you about the need of your crisp style and sharp grooming and image tell them to shut up and tell them it's very bloody important now this was the blue pill side of things this was where i think attraction is the ultimate king but 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 attraction alone can't do the heavy lifting for you i mean sure at times it just might but not most often because on an average on a macro scale you need to have the red pill confidence instilled in you for your attraction to work in your favor at a given stage you need them both gentlemen you need them both you need them both to feel a proud and a strong man and you need them both to be able to communicate and express your feelings and vulnerabilities and your attraction towards the given because just being attractive or high value might get you some attention here and there but chances of you sharing expressing and putting your thoughts out there is highly highly proportional to the confidence you honestly have gentlemen you can only express your feelings you can only show your game you can only seduce someone after you have mustered enough balls to go out and make that approach happen first place i mean i'm sure being socially aware and being a great communicator being a great flirt and a seducer is a very good blue pill thing to have but for all of it to happen for you to actually go out and do it in real you will have to have the very base concept of a red pill confidence gentlemen you have to be a man who believes in himself you have to be a man of confidence and when you do this when you mix the perfect cocktail of the red pill and the blue pill when you mix the perfect cocktail of confidence and attraction The amount of opportunities you may get in your life, be it from jobs, women, dates, relationships, friends, or your social life, is going to skyrocket like crazy. Because gentlemen, you being a level-headed, you being a clear man is hot. You being on your purpose is hot. You dressing well, you looking sharp is hot. You being socially aware and personally self-aware is very sexy, very attractive to most. of the self aware women these two things when mixed perfectly these two things when combined perfectly in your life and in yourself is going to make you so much more attractive so much more confident and so much more sexy than you could possibly ever think but my what's the need of this why do we need to focus on either of it well great question you see with the modern age with the current developments and the way of life that we are living these days the current pace at which things are changing and the current pace at which we are evolving as human beings the self improvement aspect of our very own self is going to get very nuanced and very very gay there'll be a lot of toxic annoying bullshit around on the internet to watch and not learn from but there also be some very good things you should actually watch learn and implement from you have to pick and choose and you have to be wise with what you learn and what you don't pick the good scrap the worst you hating on women you thinking all women are crazy you hating on the idea of seduction flirt and attractiveness you hating to date you not prioritizing your personal or social life you not going out on dates you not meeting people you not being with your friends you're just fixated and focus on your work is a toxic side of the red pill society similarly you being a womanizer you being this very pretentious and a very manipulative guy you being this very fraudulent guy who's just wanting to sleep with every other girl he sees 
in any way shape or form he feels that's not a right when that's the toxic side of the blue pill society you don't need to be either you need to be you you need to be your best you or if not the best at least a better you a complete you that's all for today's episode gentlemen but thankfully i have got both of these things covered for you in case you want to level up your sexiness and attractiveness if you want to be more attractive and look more attractive in general then you can head over to teamebasics.com and check out our bracelets currently on sale you can get our accessories masks you can get our t-shirts henleys sweaters hoodies and our upcoming shirts jeans chinos and a whole lot of things at teamebasics.com we are currently running a 40 percent sale now this thing probably be over as soon as we have a fresh new stock ready for you so might as well get it right now and in case you want to work on your red pill side of pure alpha confidence alpha confidence then i have this program called tmb evolve i mean it's one of my best digital piece of work that i have ever made i cannot put it on youtube because it's something that i am very very proud of you can check that out as well at tmbevolve.com anyway that's all for today's episode that's all for my balanced or apparent mixed view on the red pill and the blue pill group of men i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you are coming back tomorrow for the next upcoming episode see you in the next one gentlemen my name is mangalacharya thanks a lot for watching jai hind take care